All right, let's take a look at these next examples. We're trying to find the cosecant of the inverse cosine of 2 fifths. So a couple things to notice that are different than the problems we've done before. This is not a special triangle value, 2 fifths. Uh, so we can't really use our unit circle values. And these are not inverses of each other. So we can't use any kind of composite inverse property. So we're going to approach these a little bit differently. We're going to draw a picture of this situation. So let's first just think about what's inside the parentheses here, which is the inverse cosine of 2 fifths. What does that mean? All right, what is that asking you? Well, it's asking you for an angle. This, this is going to be some angle between 0 and pi that has a cosine of 2 fifths some angle between 0 and 2 pi where the cosine is 2 fifths. Could we draw a picture of that? I think we can. What, what uh, quadrant would that be in? That would be in the first quadrant, right? Because the cosine is positive and the cosine needs to be 2 fifths. So let's think about this using um, x over r. Right? Instead of the unit circle, let's make it a radius 5. All right, so I'm going to picture, I'm going out two units here and um, a radius of five. So I've got some, some point out here where this is a radius of five and the coordinates of this point are two something, I don't know. Right, so this would be some circle here. I'm not going to draw the whole circle with a radius of 5. So could we figure out what this y value is? Well, hopefully you can because you're hopefully visualizing uh, some kind of a, a right triangle here. And we want to figure out this y value. Now, why do I want to figure out that y value? Well, remember, what we're trying to figure out is the cosecant of this angle. This is some angle. Let's draw this angle into our picture right here. Okay, that's some angle. So if I replace what's in the parentheses there with that angle, that is the answer to the inverse cosine of 2 fifths. So really what I want to do is find the cosecant of this angle. I don't have to figure out what the angle is because I know the cosecant is going to be the same as 1 over the sine of that angle. Now can I use my picture to figure out the sine of that angle? I sure can, but I'm going to have to figure out what the y value is over here. So we're going to use our Pythagorean identity, which is um, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, our Pythagorean theorem. Or you could use the unit circle if you like and do cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1 if you wanted to. Maybe I should show both of those if you were doing the unit circle, in which case this would be 1, this hypotenuse would be 1, and this would be 2 fifths, but you could do it either way. Okay, let's just write this out. So I'm going to finish it the way I, was th I set it up first, which is this way. So our x value is 2, our y value is unknown, and our r value is 5. So we have 4 plus y squared equals 25. Subtract that over, take the square root, and we get y is the square root of 21. So that's this value right here. So the sine of this angle in this picture right here is... Um, y over r, so the sine is y over r, which is 5, and 1 over that, then we just flip over to 5 over root 21. Okay, that's a perfectly good answer. If you wanted to rationalize that answer, you certainly could. A lot of programs uh, require that, so then you would end up with 5 root 21 over 21. All right, let's just see real quick what would happen if we would do it this other way. So we know the cosine. We know the cosine of the angle right here. The cosine is 2 fifths. So the cosine squared would be 2 
fifths squared plus sine squared theta equals 1. So then I get sine squared theta equals uh, 2 fifths squared is 4 fifths, or 4 twenty fifths. So 1 minus 4 twenty fifths would be 21 twenty fifths. And then if I take the square root of both sides, I know everything's positive here because I'm in the first quadrant, so I don't have to worry about absolute values or anything. So I get that the sine of theta is the square root of 21 over 5. All right? So then the cosecant of theta, which is what I'm looking for, would be the reciprocal of that. And we could rationalize.